Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, you guys, I know a lot of y'all are still a little upset with my man Ice Cube and him (laughs) allowing the Republican administration to look at his covenant. Uh, well, his contract with Black America, I think Tavis Smiley uh, was the covenant back in the day. Either way it go, the contract with, for Black um, with Black for Black America, the covenant for Black America, either or. Um, I understand what Cube is doing, and I cannot. Uh, you know, be mad at him for that, okay? I guess, you know, and I know that in order for you to get the position that you have and in order to, you know, be able to have the resources that you have in Hollywood, you know, you have to have management. Most of those management are Jewish lawyers, no disrespect. Most of them have friends, of course, like anybody else. Some of their friends happen to be white supremacists, you know, like Steve Bannon, I guess. So that should kind of like, in my opinion, just just my humble opinion, it should kind of show you how your management team think, or the Scott Jeff, whatever his name is, uh, you know. He likes to run around with racist people from the alt-right. But if that's how you get paid and that's your management team, then and if you didn't know, you know now. And if you knew all the time and you were still rocking with them, well, you know, it is what it is. But it doesn't negate the work. I don't think that you put in or any of that stuff like that. I just think that it's an uncomfortable thought, especially um, because most of us, they have a little wisdom now that have set in. We at the point now where we're like, listen, don't waste your energy on anything that has to do with somebody already showing you who they are. Our great ancestor said, when people show you who they are, believe them. You're making a lot of money for your management team, the one who helped runs Cube Vision with you. I'm just uncomfortable with the company that he keeps. But I know that you're a sincere guy. Um, I believe that you do want the best for black people. At least that's what I choose to see unless somebody can show me different. And I think that's what the uncomfortability is about. In my opinion, because that's what that's what's uncomfortable for me. Steve Bannon, alt right, Stephen Miller, all those guys, you know. Mm-mm. Now, but with that being said, you guys, you know, then you got a guy like Fifty Cent, who, in my opinion, is. A perfect example of a young man who missed his mother. I mean, he's missing that chip in him. And he does a lot of things to insult. And But y'all love him. Y'all fit it is. Fit it, fit it, fit it, fit it, fit it. Um, but I think that he, without trying to pay, play psychiatrist here. I really believe he misses his mother. And I believe there's a lot of things in compassion about compassion that your mother showed you that he missed. He's, he didn't really get it that like that um, from the grandparents. So it's a difference when the person that you're connected to is gone. The person that you share the invisible in biblical court is severed. But spiritually, you know, like I said, it's still there. So 
when I look at some of the comments that he makes, like, I'm still going to vote, or I'm going to vote for Trump, and blah, 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 even if that is how he felt, what does that benefit the rest of black people by hearing it from you when you already know Donald Trump is talking about you too? He doesn't like you either. And because you have money doesn't mean Donald Trump likes you. If Donald Trump's father was a Klansman, then he thinks about you the way he thinks about the rest of us, except you just got a monkey suit. That shiny, shiny monkey suit. So I heard a story about you a long time ago that you called the police on some brothers that was outside your house in uh, Jersey. Instead of sending your security down or anybody and asking them to get off, leave your property, I heard you call the police and said, uh, yeah, there's some black guys out here. And if you did that, Curtis, that's not good. However, I'm not going to stay too long on you. I'm not, you know, trying to make a, you know, a video about you. But what I am trying to say, you guys, is For black people, it's real, real hard to hang on to your spirit right now. And I get it. All this mayhem going on around you. And then you have, you know, crazy white folk that want to just play on that and tell you that racism doesn't exist. And uh, why didn't the person get m murdered? Why didn't they do this? And so that's why I contend. And that's why I say what I say. Um, Elijah Muhammad always taught us that we're going to you have to separate from them. For your sanity's sake, and I, however you separate, and uh, what's that create name that you got mad that I said it last time and I meant it? You are you, some of you know the elite of this system is barbaric. You always have been. This is nothing new, and you come from that barbaric class. That's all. And and the fact that you can say something so insensitive shows me your pompousness, your arrogance, and all that stuff. You're definitely not an empath. OK, and so people like you, I try to. You know, I, I judge you for what you are. You know, trash, pretty much, in my opinion. So there's no light there. Love and light get the hell away from you. You understand what I'm saying? Because. Anybody that's trying to convince you that we're hallucinating and the stuff that we have perpetuated against us is not real. He's a fool. He's a savage. Okay? So you don't want to stoop down to their level. I just want to say the five stages of of um when you're going through anything, that last stage is acceptance. It's very hard for us to accept that we're a conquered people, and I get it. But we were conquered when they brought us over here. Okay? No, no slavery ever. Ex I mean, this is slavery that existed outside of our homeland, right? We were taken off our land. And some of us that were here that were held captive on the land that the in white, the European settler came. And before whiteness was invented, of course, we were all, we could all get along. Couldn't we all just get along? Yes, we could. But it wasn't until that elite class that invented this whiteness. Invented. This whiteness, because whiteness is really nothing. It's just a social construct. And these people are so damn crazy that they have taken it and made it a mantra with how they feel about you, um, how how much disdain they're going to have for you. And they don't understand it. If it wasn't for you, they wouldn't even be here. That's how psychotic they are. They haven't been educated, even though they're quick to say that we're uneducated. But they didn't give philosophy, science, mathematics, literature, music. They didn't give that to the world. The Egyptians did. The Ethiopians did. The black man did. So with that being said, you have nothing to feel bad about. That is no kind of, um, uh, uh, I'm unapologetically stating a fact. And if people can't handle that, then I'm sorry then you need to do a little bit more research, okay? So what well, that does not mean I'm better than you does not mean anything other than I did it first, okay? And if you guys built the pyramids, please 
just do it again. Just do it again. And all questions are, are solved. So create one. Let me let you know. I did get your little message. And I think that you're bogus. And I think that what you, you know, you couldn't stand it a day in a black man's shoes. People like you, y'all don't have the, you don't even have the testicular fortitude, nor do you have the tough skin to walk a day in a black man's shoes. You just don't have it. <laughs> You're not even built for it. You wasn't never built for it. That's why you called this in the first place. So, you know, with that being said, again, you guys, try to hold on to your sanity, and I hope all is well out there. I hope those of us who are taking care of elderly parents are um, making sure that they're safe. I know I got a couple subs out here uh, who have parents that they're taking care of. Uh, God, I got one over here um, that her father is in the hospital. I haven't spoken with her in a while, but I'm hoping everything is okay with your family, with y'all children, with y'all significant others. If you have them, I just wish you know, everybody okay to be okay. So, you know, some of those things that we have to think about, you know, or we know is is imperative for our survival for us to think about. We just have to stay, you know, diligent about. Although there are some people who are going to try to discredit us, we, we can't let that bother us. We know uh, the experience that we live. The thing is to try to stay positive, you know, find a way to go meditate and to calm yourself in this type of uh, environment. Do something for yourself that takes you totally off of this thinking. So I want to give a shout out. So I'm going to go, I'm going to give a shout out to Sid Matt. I want to give a shout out to Sarah Lawson, uh, Kevin Harris. I want to give a shout out to Mims881. <laughs> um, I also want to give a shout out to Miss Teach, Netfall, Jack, she, you already know, Stanley Mocher. R&B legends, uh, Mr. Lou Meth, my true speaker, DG, Universe Soul. How you doing out there? Yanni, Ada, 887, 857. Some of y'all, I'm just shouting out because I, I I was scrolling through and y'all the way YouTube does the analytics now you know you can see um the 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 link of whatever of the subscribers so Black Star to you as well good morning everybody Aaron Carson I want y'all to have a great day I want you to go out and make it the best that you can under these crazy 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 circumstances okay and um don't be surprised if you find out a lot of your stars people that you admire will be voting for trump because they got a program they sell you and in order for them to keep that paper coming in a lot of them are far from that and they don't want to go back to where you are and so they'll sell you out in a heartbeat so with that being said, I will see you in the next video. And y'all, listen, if you if if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh and um again, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.